Back at it again, Rick Severtella here, wrapping up the New York Giants training camp on our first leg of the training camp tour. Spent two days in practice here, and uh, quarterback battle continues in terms of backing up Eli. Will it be Josh Johnson? Will it be Geno Smith? Uh, you know, so far, Geno Smith has looked a little bit better, a little bit further ahead, but Josh Johnson a little bit more familiar with the offense, so we'll see how that shakes out. Davis Webb, though, however, showing some flashes, getting in the extra work, creating extra reps for this guy. Not only that, he was the last man off the field today, staying after practice, putting in the work. Davis Webb, this is a guy you're going to hear a lot about uh, come the future. I don't think he'll suit up this year, but definitely a guy that Giants have to be excited about. Now, at the running back position, so many talented players. Um, obviously, Paul Perkins ahead at the top of the depth chart. Orleans Darkwa, a veteran guy now who we spoke to, will have his interview up on the website as well. But Khalid Abdullah uh, and Wayne Gallman, two rookies making some noise. Gallman, obviously a fourth round pick, is going to have some kind of weight when it comes to making roster cuts. But Khalid Abdullah certainly stating his case. Uh, several imp uh, impressive runs throughout the past two days. And wide receiver, you talk about the skill positions, probably the toughest position in camp here. Uh, you talk about Odell Beckham, Brandon Marshall. Dwayne Harris, uh, Tavarius King, so many veteran guys here, but Darius Powell, the star of the camp, everybody's talking about him, big media buzz on him. And then, you know, Travis Rudolph, who we also had a chance to speak with. This guy's undrafted, out of Florida State, underclassman guy, very quick, very fast, made a great dive and catch out here today in traffic. And his special teams value is what's going to probably uh, boost his stock and, and maybe compete for a roster spot. Uh, you know, Roger Lewis, another guy who made some plays for the Giants last year, a roster spot could be in jeopardy with Rudolph and Powell playing so well. Uh, definitely going to keep an eye on that wide receiver battle here in the training camp. Of course, Sterling Shepard did go down with an ankle injury, looked like a left ankle carted off the field will await his status in terms of the offensive line i had a chance to speak with jaron jones his transition at the offensive line uh converting over from defensive tackle where he played at notre dame baby steps it's progress working on his technique little by little one percent better each day as coach mcadoo likes to say and we'll see how that situation shakes out on the defensive side of the ball you want to under the radar player Dion Skinner number 53 he was all over the field making some plays aggressive physical player I really like what I see from him the Giants do need some help at linebacker in terms of death so Dion Skinner number 53 is a guy that I'm keeping an eye on and Eli Apple continues to make great strides we saw him out here yesterday locking down Beckham and Marshall he was back to his own old tricks today uh manning up on beckham and marshall once again and in fact i wouldn't be surprised if eli apple emerges as the number one cornerback we talked about this giant secondary with janoris jenkins and uh, drc landon collins you know eli apple might be the most talented of the bunch and it would not surprise me not one bit if he does see a lot of time locked up on the opposing team's number one wide out now uh special teams a factor here today Part of the portion of the practice has to be moved indoors. They got some special teams work in. Uh, we saw Kevin Sneed, 422 speed from uh, Carson Newman, a chance, a guy we've had a chance to speak with leading up to the draft. He was out here returning kicks yesterday, competing with that Travis Rudolph, Dwayne Harris, Odell Beckham uh, group that returns kicks. But from offense to defense, special teams, that's your day two recap here on location at MetLife Stadium, the Quest Field practice facility here. Thank you so much to the Giants for having us. Keep it locked, everybody.